the sacred land. Being soiled by condo development by the Canada Lands Company, says Alan Rubin. Specifically for veterans that have served. The Jewish Canadian Veterans Memorial is the only one in Canada honoring Jewish veterans. The water came across from the north side of the Downsview Park lands over a foot deep of ice during the, in January. Rubin says a contractor left the pipe running for days. It's unclear who he was with, but when the water froze, he said it scarred the foundation beneath. What has happened in this case here, the foundation has cracked and then the rust has taken place in terms of the, the stone falling over. When did the flooding start? Uh, we started, well, our graves started uh, uh, in 2014, as soon as they started tearing down uh, the buildings. Back then, it was water from below, subsurface, that flooded at least four graves, and there could be more. Prior to the construction, prior to everything, it was, there was no problem. You opened the grave and it was dry. You can see where it's come up to the top of the edge. Reuben has carefully documented the damage. They'll be right up here. Painful task because he knows each of the people buried beneath. Sid Sears was a real estate agent when I was a kid. Uh, he supported our hockey team. These are very rare gentlemen. Um, there are very few of them left, and, and we try to give them the best we can. It's very, very difficult now for us to accept what's going on here. Parts of the 231-hectare site owned by the federal government are being turned into condos. I was horrified. The local city councillor has written to two federal MPs about the problem of flooding. They're turning a deaf ear and a blind eye to what's happening. But there is little the city can do. The federal government has primacy over every other government in Canada. In a statement to Global News, the Canada Lands Company denies wrongdoing and wrote, We have no evidence that subsurface water is encroaching from our site onto cemetery land. We believe that subsurface water was already present. Madame Holmes uh, happened to be responsible, and that's what Canada Lands said to tell us. Madame is the home builder. They were supposed to build a retaining wall for the flow of surface water. And that hasn't happened. The company says they haven't gotten around to it because they were only told to do so in February. As for the below ground water intrusion, they say that isn't because of their work. When you see something like that, emotionally inside, it's just very upsetting. He's not looking for a lawsuit, just an end to the problem, because dignity is the price they're paying, not the cost of cleanup. Peter Kim, Global News.